There's a, a, some information out that people who stop smoking gain weight. People who smoke have higher rates of diabetes and heart disease and insulin resistance. So you would think that maybe when you stop smoking, you would gain the weight, it might get worse, or it, because it's associated with the, um, the diabetes and the, ins and the insulin resistance, when you stop smoking, it might get better. It hasn't really been tested. And in general, in research, you want to do what's called causal studies. You'd like to maybe randomize people to cigarette smoke or, non or placebo and see what happens to them longitudinally. Obviously, that's unethical to do that. So what we did is we took advantage of the fact that a lot of people, in theory, when they stop smoking, they go back to smoking. So we had three stages of our study. First of all, we studied them at baseline. Then we studied that we gave them a medicine called uh, Wellbutrin, plus we gave them counseling. And we looked at them when they stopped smoking. They went from about nine cigarettes to about two cigarettes on average. And then we didn't give them any counseling, and didn't give them any bupropion. And we wanted to see whether they would return to smoking. Surprisingly, very few returned to smoking, which showed that A, that it's fairly motivated to stay off the smoking, and B, maybe our counseling was very good. So we really didn't have that down up, down that we would like, but we still looked at the down and then sort of a, a flattened area, the second phase. First stage was for two months, the second phase was for another four months. And it turned out that there was no effect on weight. They didn't gain weight, which is very reassuring. Their diabetes, their pre-diabetes and markers of resistance didn't get worse. There was no signs of that. And actually, a few things got better. So one thing that got better is the amount of glucose that the liver puts out is detrimental, and it dropped. So they get, the livers aren't, aren't putting out as much glucose when they stop smoking, so that's very good. And the second thing is their fat distribution. The fat around their abdomen, their central obesity, is detrimental. The fat on their thighs is, is probably beneficial. So initially, at the very early stage, that two-month stage, they got more fat in their abdomen. But by the six-month time, they got more fat in their thighs, so that was a beneficial shift on, on fat. So I think our conclusion is you want to tell, still tell your patients to stop smoking and there's, it's going to be beneficial for them to stop smoking and the detrimental facts are maybe over exaggerated, at least in our study, we didn't see them. So that's the bottom line of, of our first uh, study, that it's good for them to stop smoking, they don't get more diabetes, insulin resistance and obesity. No, I think in general people should be encouraged to stop smoking and they don't have to be that concerned about gaining weight or getting their diabetes worse or getting their insulin resistance worse. So I think our message for everybody is that it's beneficial to stop smoking. Smoking.